Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. Today we're discussing the Porsche Design Heritage Chronograph P6540. You can see this historically inspired combination of several threads of Porsche design history and purchase it on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos and click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen to see our full sales listing for this automatic titanium chronograph. Accessories included in the sale, high resolution images for your desktop, and of course complete pricing details for this Porsche Design Heritage Chronograph. Now the timepiece on my wrist sits 40.5 millimeters wide from 9 to 3, not inclusive of chronograph pushers or the crown. The watch actually has a very true to history vintage proportion about it, being 40.5 across the round of the case, 43.5 from lug to lug, and and actually quite reasonable, 14.5 millimeters in thickness. With that conical bezel, it easily slides underneath a tight sleeve or cruff. The bottom line is that the watch is also contemporary in its stance, because though 43.5 millimeters across the wrist from lug to lug, the outermost rigid point of the bracelet on each side extends it to a more contemporary 50.5 millimeters. It's very light on the wrist, constructed all of titanium, the watch, as I mentioned, combines several threads of Porsche design history, and here's what they are. Founded in 1972 by Ferdinand Porsche, best known as Bootsy Porsche, this being the grandson of the namesake of the companies, Ferdinand Porsche, the doctor from the interwar era. Porsche Design branched off from the company automotive business as Porsche Design Studio in 1972, creating the first chronograph Chrono 1 in 1973 as an accessory for Porsche drivers. Now, that watch was actually stainless steel and black PVD, but a few years later, in 1978, Porsche Design began to collaborate with IWC of Schaffhausen, and in 1980, they created the first titanium chronograph in the Titan, the Titan being essentially the spiritual inspiration for the watch that you see here spiritual in that the material was inspired by the IWC. The shape and aesthetic of this watch was inspired by the Chrono 1 of 1973. With that out of the way, you can see that this 2012 Special Edition is handsome in every way and wears easy on the wrist thanks to lightweight titanium construction. The bracelet is beautifully tapered with the same matte titanium treatment seen on the case and bezel. It's handsome, it's low-key, and it's exactly the kind of understated design that you do associate with Porsche, the automotive company. And that's fitting because in in 2003, Porsche Design Studio and Porsche AG actually combined such that the longtime family automaker finally acquired the longtime family design house. And in 1995, they acquired Eterna of Grenchen. So before the IWC partnership even ended in 1997, Porsche Design had acquired legitimate Swiss watchmaking expertise to build their namesake watches. Uh, now, the timepieces that you see here reasonably sized, released in 2012 in a limited edition of, appropriately enough, 911 pieces, combine modern watchmaking inside with a little bit of a heritage element that might be unexpected, as the original Porsche Chrono 1 was one of the very first applications of the then brand new Valju 7750, and it continues in service here. Now you can see that the dial is all of matte black, understated and elegant like the watch. That classic tri-register design of the 7750 is present, as is the day-date now you can see there's a little 40 year signature underneath and a vintage inspired Porsche design logo from the very first 1972 iteration of the company on the clasp. The watch features a modern iteration of the 7750, whereas the original had a 17 joule design, the new one has 25 joules. So you have the same 4 hertz beat rate, you have the same roughly 42 to 44 hour power reserve, it still hacks when you pull the crown, stop the balance, synchronize to a reference time, and there is a double quick set for the day date such that you can rapidly cycle if you encounter an irregular length month, week, or the watch runs down. Now this one is a driver's watch, no doubt, but it has an extra element in that it is 10 bar or 100 meters water resistant. So while it is a driver's watch, this one's also suited for Amphicar drivers and you can take it into the beach, into the pool, what have you, 
It's a full-featured recreational watch, whether you're a driver or not. And whether you're a driver or not, the true-to-history size and lightness of this watch make it very versatile, very comfortable, aesthetically appropriate in formal attire, and just as casual, effortlessly so, in smart leisure wear. You can see and you can purchase this 40th anniversary Porsche Design Heritage Chronograph on our website.